for the ones that want to know, I'm going to show you how where the drains are coming out of my back and how to milk a drain and empty it. Um, if you have a weak stomach, I probably would not watch this. I would stop here and just click on to the next video because it, it, it's a little gruesome. Um, but yeah, if you, if you want to know how they have it in your back, if you're interested with that, this little clip will, will show you how to, um, how to do all that and what it looks like. You want me to describe it or you want to describe it? You can't describe it. Yeah, can't you can't really see it. it. <clears throat> okay, so... Um, when they send her home, she's got on a real heavy uh, gauze pad on her chest, and that's just drawing from the doctor uh, when they did the surgery. And you can take this off because she doesn't have like any open wounds, but that's to provide her some padding because she's tender. Um, that's from her heparin shot. She got like three of those, and every one of them bruised her. She got two over here and those bruises are about gone. But then her drains... The the drains actually come out of her back. Um, and you know, it's like she said, if you're a little squeamish, don't look at this, but... So, I, we were surprised at how far around her back the drains are. They, they come out here and here. There's There's one each and the stitches are just in there to hold the tubes and then she's got two more over here I'm not going to show them because she's tender um, but you'll see you know she's got some bruising like under her arm and things like that and that's really been more of an issue here than anywhere else because it's it's tender when she puts her arms down but she can't lift her arms other than that she's only got minor bruising around the front on the right side and that's how the drains come out and then, so what you've got is you got two tubes that come out here and go down, and then you got two tubes that come out here and go down. And they had her pain pump in a little fanny pack. So what we've done is we've, the drains go under her corset, and then the tubes come out like right here. And then we've got each, each drain, the two drains from this side and two drains from this side going in this little fanny pack, which are from the pain pump. So again, if um, if this kind of stuff bothers you, don't watch because there's going to be some fluid and it's sort of bloody. Um, in the, the drains, what they are is they're little bulbs and they're numbered. Uh, she's got four, so you got number one, two, three, and four. Mm -hmm. And what they do is they've got a the tube comes down into them and then they've got a got a, a spout right there on the top which is um, you can see just sort of opens up and then you drain it and then to keep suction on it you just squeeze them once you drain it you, you squeeze you, you drain it out and then before you put the stopper back in you squeeze it and then put the stopper in and that keeps some suction on the tube underneath your there you go okay so <clears throat> what you have to do is um, yeah, come over here to the there you go. You, you got to take these tubes and you have to strip them. So you got to you got to hang on to them uh, pretty tight because you don't want to pull on you don't want to pull them out obviously. So you've got to hold it pretty tight and then you're going to squeeze it real tight and. Just strip it out, and this you can stretch this tubing um, several times bigger than its or longer than its normal size, so it's not going to hurt it. Now, I'll I'll warn you whether you're doing this or you're having somebody else do it for you. You get some clump. All right, so you uh, yeah you you strip it out like so, and uh, like I said, I mean you're going to get some clumps in there. Um, that's just the way it goes, and and sometimes the blood will clot in the two in the bulb, and um, it's okay to just leave that um, if it doesn't come out of the the drain thing. So then what you have to do is you basically you want to be careful, you know. And I kind of hold the the bulb, and then pull the drain out, and then let the 
then let the bulb expand and you gotta you gotta drain it um, you can either drain it in a cup and measure it or you can measure it on the side of the bulb but you have to record each one each time you drain them and then measure it so then what you do when you're done with that is you just squeeze that bulb and then put the stopper back in because then that puts some suction on that particular drain line and then you move on to the next one and some people will come home with two or, or four or six or it just depends on the person um, make sure you go under so and then we're just using this little fanny pack to hold them in you can pin them to your corset you can they make little uh, cups on ribbons that you can put them in various things but that's how we're doing it so then you have a you have a JP drain sheet and like she's got four drains so um, <clears throat> you know we're, we're putting the date the times uh, how much out of each drain and then totaling it for the day